Do you know the difference between soft washing and downstreaming? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through downstreaming using a chemical injector, which is how most professionals apply chemicals when using a pressure washer. If you're interested in learning more about how to pressure wash and how to soft wash, check out the first link in the description below to learn more about our latest training course called How to Wash. This is the ultimate guide to pressure washing and soft washing, and we cover everything from the detergents and how to mix them, the equipment you need for both pressure washing and soft washing, how to wash every surface you might encounter on a residential job site, and so much more. So let's talk about chemical injectors, how they work and why we use them. Downstream injectors apply SH, surfactant, degreasers, and really anything else you want to mix with your water coming from your pressure washer. It allows you to apply the solution quickly and effectively to the surface being cleaned. You never want to run anything but water through your pressure washer pump because it can cause damage to the internal parts and the seals of the pump. And we all know that pumps are very expensive and that's why we always want to hook up the chemical injector to the outlet side of the pump or the high pressure side. And it's also what we call the downstream side of the pump. And that's why we call it downstream injecting because you're introducing whatever solution it is that you're applying downstream of the pump. Also, downstream injectors are only one way, and there is an arrow on the injector that goes away from your pump and towards your gun. And if you put it on backwards, your pressure washer is still gonna work, but your chemical injector will not be able to pull anything from the chemical tank. So always make sure the arrow is going in the right way. You also always wanna have a strainer or a filter on your soap line or your chem tube, so no dirt and trash get into the chemical injector because they are consumables, they are gonna go bad, and you're gonna have to replace them when you're out on the job. And that's why we use quick connect plugs and couplers to install them quickly to our pump and the high pressure hose. If you happen to be using a hot water pressure washer, then hook it up where the water exits the burner or at the hose reel like we do. Downstream injectors work by a Venturi effect. All this means is that water from the pressure washer is forced into a constricted section in the injector. The increased velocity of the water creates a vacuum and that's what sucks into the solution through the suction tube. So that is how they work and where you put them on your machine. But now let's talk about some of the things you need to know about them when you're out there working. Chemical injectors will only suck the detergent through the tube when you have a low pressure tip on your wand or no wand at all. Some guys like to use the ball valve to rinse and this is also gonna allow the chemical to be drawn from the chemical tank and out the end of the hose. Uh, and that is why we always pull the chemical draw hose from our chemical tank and drop it into the fresh water tank. This also rinses out the injector, which is important for making it last longer. Chemical is not gonna pull with a high pressure tip. The benefit of this, it lets you switch tips from the low pressure or the soap tips and your long range tips to your high pressure tips for rinsing. This saves you time because you don't have to run back and pull the hose and drop it in the water tank. So that's one great thing to know. Another thing is that uh, if you have tons of pressure hose on your machine, the injector is not gonna work as well. The more hose that you have, the more resistance there is to push the water through the hose and this creates back pressure and that reduces the velocity of the water through the chemical injector and we now know that is what makes them work. So we keep about 150 feet of high pressure hose on our hose reels because it works better like that. I mentioned rinsing out the injector to prolong the life. So the nipple that your chemical draw hose connects to unscrews. Inside is a little spring and ball. Over time they can become corroded from the harsh chemicals that we use to clean. And when they do, those little parts are going to fail. You can take them apart and clean them off, but rinsing with fresh water after every job and squirting with WD-40 is going to help prolong the life of your injector. Also, sometimes trash gets sucked up from your chem tank and gets stuck in the injector. Take it apart, clean it out, and that should solve that problem uh, when trash is in there. So I hope it helped. I hope it gave you a little bit better understanding of downstreaming and how chemical injectors work and some of the things that you encounter on the job. If you want to learn more about downstreaming, about pressure washing, about soft washing, check out our new course called How to Wash. Cody Yarborough from Southeast Soft Wash, Justin from Forever Self-Employed, Aaron from Lean and Mean Academy, and me, Mike, have worked so hard to put this thing together for you, and we are so excited for you to check it out. So first link in the description below, and that's about it. Have a great day.